Hello, this is Ivan from watchandlearn.com and in this video we will be doing custom post types again. Uh, this is part 3 of a video series called custom post types and custom fields. And in this video we will be doing something a little bit more complicated but very useful. So we are going to make some conditionals with our custom fields to display some type of content depending if our client or whoever is using admin interface uh, checked some box. So it's not that hard but it's a little bit more advanced. So to do that uh, let's say we have actually this example. So first of all let me just tell you if uh, you're new to this series you can check out part 2 and part 1 to see how we made uh, custom post type of books and uh, custom fields for those custom post types and how we link them to their single pages and made this list of books archive. So <coughs> what we want to do now is let's say we go to our alien book and let's say this book has some discount it has 20% off or something like that. So we can go to our uh, single book.php we made this in the last video and uh, let's say we want to put discount block under the under the description and let's say we use h3 and say get 20% off on this book I don't know. This just going be gonna be dummy link. Click here. Okay. Now we can style it just a little bit. I'm using SAS here, so I'm going to be doing this in uh, ah in globals dot scss. So check out the CSS or SAS uh, or CSS if you don't know what's going on here. So we made uh, the div called discount with a class of discount. So I'm going to go discount gray is it gray. I don't know gray discount gray. And I will say color is going to be white of the font, and we will add some padding of 20 pixels. Okay, so we have this right here, and maybe okay, let's just leave it as it is. So the problem with this is uh, we don't want this block to show on a every book so to do that we will go to our admin interface we go to types custom fields and we have book fields custom type so I will go book fields <coughs> and then uh, I will add a checkbox one checkbox and I will uh, call it is this book on discount. So it will be the title. Of course the slug can't be exactly uh, written like this. I will just call it discount. Okay. So the next thing uh, we wanna uh, <coughs> check here is uh, value to store to be one. So when someone clicks on that and when you save that custom post type 
WordPress will write one in the database. So just that number. You can make this something else. You can say yes or something like that. But it's better to leave it to be just one. When uncheck, save zero to database or then don't save anything to database. I will say save, don't save anything to database. Or we can make it to zero actually. And set check by default. We won't set check by default. And that's it. I think that's it. Okay. Let's click save. Okay. So if we go to books and go to Ilium, we will have that field right here. Is this book on discount? So if we click it like this and update it, we just checked this field. But if we go here, nothing ha happened. Also, if we go to my new book, which isn't clicked, uh, is this book on discount isn't checked for my book. It also so uh, it, it also shows this block. So we want this block to show on our Ilium book, but so right here, but we don't want it to show on my new book. So how do we do that? So we're going to go to singlebook.php and we're going to make something like this. So I'm going to open my PHP tags and I'm going to put uh, the value uh, of our discount field into a variable. So I'm going to call a variable discount and I will say equals to. So uh, to to print out uh, a field, you use this command. You use this fun function: echo type surrender field and so on. But to put that field in a variable, you will just use this part: type surrender field and so on. So we just put this here, and uh, type render field is going to be discount not description discount discount array row true we'll say true so for the ilium book the discount variable will actually be one but for the my, uh, my new book the discount variable will be zero because here we set that up. So if we go books and we check this, so value to store if if the the field is checked or the checkbox is checked is going to be one, but it, if it isn't checked is going to be zero. So what we're gonna do now is something like this. We're going to open new PHP tag and say if. Uh, this means not empty so if the variable is not empty actually since uh, we put a zero it will never be empty so we will have to do it like this if discount if discount equals one display this block and that's it actually we're done so I just saved this this should work so since we didn't click the checkbox on my new book this this should disappear now once I refresh the page so as you can see it disappeared but since we did click the checkbox on Ilium book it should show up there so as you can see we have it right here uh, also just one more thing if we didn't put uh, to save zero to the database when uh, this checkbox is unchecked uh, we could have done something like this we could just said if not empty 
discount and then display this so because uh, WordPress wouldn't save anything to the database it would be an em empty field we just said if this field isn't empty so it has something in it show the discount but si since we used 0 and 1 we had to make it like this equals 1 so you have to uh, put two equal signs so if you know anything about PHP this is actually very easy for you and you understand this completely but when checking if something is or isn't in PHP uh, with an if statement you have to use two two equal signs so equals equals one and that should be it that's it for this tutorial if you have some questions leave it in the comments below or if you're watching this on my site leave it in the comments on the site uh, and uh, if you're watching this on YouTube you can click uh, in the description to the link to my site where will I uh, where, where I will have all this uh, code written down for you so you can copy and paste it so that's it follow me on Facebook or on Twitter and I'll see you next time